Hi there, Joe from Kingston, and today we've come on down to Epping Drive to come take a look at a two bed semi detached bungalow. So you can see we're down in a quiet little cul de sac built up of bungalows all the way around. In fact, if you look down the far end, you've got Epping Mall, which extends on down to Ashdown Drive. And if you come out of the cul de sac just up there on the left hand side, you come into Sherwood Avenue, and that goes on to Savanac Avenue. So we're down on the east side of Melksham, just behind us here. There are some more bungalows and that goes straight out to open countryside all the way out towards a laycock. So as you can hear, beautifully quiet at this time of the day. In fact, even in the evenings, it's still very quiet. So of course we've got the entrance here. We do actually have a driveway just round there and you can fit potentially even three cars on there, no problem at all. And you've got 15 seconds walk, I'd say, maybe even less than that to come down to where we have the bungalow. So of course we've got the front there, We've got a lovely porch and as we come on down, down in the corner, we've got access round into the garden. The fact that we're tucked away in a corner plot means that you've got a garden to the rear and a garden to the side. So that overall you have a really decent amount of garden space. We have the porch here that leads us on through into a living room. So the living room takes us on down into a kitchen at the rear. And then we've also got a conservatory off the back of there leading out to the garden. So you come on this side, back round, this is where we have our main bedroom. So we've got a good size double there. That extends on down to a, another bedroom out towards the rear, looking out to the garden. And then we have a bathroom in the middle. So it's a really decent sized space overall. I think the best thing for us to do is actually head on in and explore. <laughs> We're stood in the porch. We can see in front of us, we have a storage cupboard that houses our fuse board, has space for coats and shoes, and you see our door through to the front. Continuing on through, we're coming into our living room. So as we look down to the far end, we've got plenty of space for sofas, chairs, units running all the way around. The door on the right is through and into our kitchen. The door on the left is through to our inner hall. We have a window to the side got a radiator here and just stand in front of the television just stand next to the chimney breast and the electric fire and see just how much space we have in here there you go there's just a view down and through into our inner hall as we pan across of course we've got our window out to the front where we stood just a moment ago and we also have our second radiator while we're here because we have that garden space to the side you can see there that we have a window out to the side. Many of the bungalows don't have that. And of course there is our view out to the front. I'll then take you on through and into our main bedroom. This is at the front of the property. It's a really good size space. You can see we've got a double bed here in the middle. Our windows at the front, radiator below, loads of space for storage. You see we have a large bank of wardrobes and we've got space for more storage down here on the right hand side. We'll come on in and pan around from the far end here so you can easily see that you'll get even a king size bed in here or maybe even super king and plenty of space for further furniture we'll come from here and head out towards the rear and into bedroom number two so smaller of the two bedrooms you can get a double bed in here but you would have to push it up against the side but not a bad size room. See, it extends all the way down towards rear. We have that window and radiator. You see, we've got space for some units in here. Of course, if you'd use it as a dining room, as some people do, or a single bedroom, there will be plenty of space in here. We'll give you a quick view out to the rear. We will, of course, head out into the garden in just a short moment. We're coming on through and into the bathroom. So you see here, we've got a lovely tile floor. Here on the left-hand side, we've got a heated towel rail. A low level WC at the far end below a frosted window, pedestal wash hand basin with a tile splashback and a mirror. As we turn around to the right, you can see we have the open double shower area with tiling all the way to the ceiling. We've got the glass screen there too. And as we move up, you can see that that is an electric shower. 
So that's our bathroom. If we make our way back on through, I'll take you on into the kitchen. So we're coming onto the tile floor, got a radiator there on the right. We've got the door out to the conservatory. And you can see here, we got a mix of base and eye level units, worktop space over. We've got plenty of power points. We've got the tile splashbacks. Just here on the left hand side, you can see that we have space for a fridge freezer. Down below is our washing machine. We have an oven just here in the middle with a gas hob above, that's four ring. And you see the extractor above that. We've got inset lights in here. And then we've got a stainless steel sink unit, single drainer and mixer tap. Onto the conservatory, we're coming onto another tile floor. So you've got the view out, we've got the door on out into the garden. And that's where we're going to head on next. We're coming out onto the patio and you can see it extending down is the gravel area. So we've got a really good sized garden. Of course, this is not just the only section of garden. So we've got a plenty of space for pots. As you turn around to the side, you can see where it extends down towards that second bedroom window. If you come on into the corner, we'll pan across. You see we've got a new fence running down the side there, all the way down. And you can see just down past the conservatory, that second area of garden. It's a really good size space out here. In fact, I think it'd be hard to find a bungalow with this size garden in this location. So you see here, we've got a little bit of a border extending down. We've got the lawn here with a path on the right hand side. That takes you on down to our gate round from the front. We've got an external light there too. You see we've got a large shed just down the left hand side. We've got plenty of space for bins to be tucked away as we continue to pan across. And you can see back down to the rear. Let's go fish today for 11 Epping Drive. 